Dulkar, you know, you come from the Malayalam film industry, which is known to make some of the finest thrillers of Indian cinema. Yeah. How do you view thriller as a genre, and what got you on board? Because I'm sure you must have been offered so many thrillers from directors over there since you sure. are working there. So, no, I, I've I've been a part of some uh, in my career also. Yeah. Um, but it, I found it very interesting. A, I heard the script during lockdown. Yeah. Uh, so it was like a Zoom narration with with Balki sir, and uh, so as soon as he reached out to me, we all know his filmography and the kind of cinema he's done. So I was expecting it to be something along his style of slice film, of life, yeah. yeah, slice of life or something. And then he he told me this idea, and I was like, wow, what? Like you know, uh, it was it's so different from what he's done, and I love that. I love that <laughs> he was pushing himself into unknown territory, and, yeah. and uh, so I, I genuinely wanted to be a part of this and. Uh, across these industries that I hear, you know, narrations and scripts from so many from four languages, yeah. I found this to be so different and so unique. Uh, you know, I, I think it's definitely one of the most interesting scripts I've read in a very long time. I think it's a very uh, bold uh, film to make. Uh, also, just it's such a great subject matter. Like, I mean, I wish I could tell you more without yeah. revealing stuff, but I think when you watch the film, you'll get it. It's a, it's a solid film. I but you know talking of thrillers you both have done thrillers in your career what are the factors that the two of you look into while selecting the script for a thriller i don't look at factors or anything a kahani hoti hai if you hear it you like it i am on my instincts okay. if yeah. i like it i do it if i don't like it i don't like to analyze it because your brain is giving you the answer in a fraction of a second why do you want to analyze it mm-hmm. true yeah I, i don't think any of us can sit and you know break it down and check yeah. if it ticks all the boxes mm-hmm. and stuff i think i think we just go with the flow the your instinct like you just you feel this is a great story yeah. you know and then hope everything else falls into place and how did you react when you got to know that sunny sir is playing the cop over here and i was thrilled i was <laughs> i was so excited uh you know we've always been a fan of sunny sir and and so many you know actors you you watch on screen when you're younger like i would never a i never imagined I'd become an actor uh So for me, then to actually work with them, or, or see them, see their process, see, mm-hmm. watch him, uh, you know, his craft, mm-hmm. uh, see how Sunny so preps for the scene, you know, how he is performing. It's, it's hard sometimes to be a, a co-actor <laughs> or like be like a student and just observe. Yeah. Uh, I loved it. I was so excited when when I heard it, and yeah. I think the first day that I was going to meet him on set was a big moment for me, and I was quite like nervous and excited. And mm-hmm. uh, Balki sir like introduced us. He was so warm. He's so lovely, yeah. and. Uh, I think whenever his scenes are being shot, like all of us will assemble, <laughs> all the you know, like me, Shreya, the writers, all of them, you know, Raja Sen, yeah. all of, we always assemble just to watch him perform. Hmm. So yeah, super exciting. And Sunny sir, you know, you are one of the last of the actors of Hindi cinema whose voice has an identity. When you scream, everyone knows that <laughs> Sunny Deol's voice. Hai. <laughs> How do you view that? Even in the trailer, when the first poster was out, you scream, "Chup!" and we know it is Sunny Deol. I don't think that's me. <laughs> 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 that has been a nice interesting mystery actually uh, anyway it's it is uh, basically what uh, i don't know it's just kya ho jata hai ki over the period of time the people ka kuch image ban jata hai and we take it further around and usi cheez pe fir log karte rehte hain i wish they would give me an uh, opportunity to do something more <laughs> then just scream <laughs> <laughs> and and you're not talking of image you know you both have been in the industry for so long how easy or difficult is it to break through a certain image I think it yeah. is a subject which comes. It's a subject which gives you an image. If you don't get a subject, you can't break it because yeah. uh, you can't do it because you're playing a character. So, कहानी होती है उसके अंदर character क्या होता है उसी के हिसाब से आदमी का image बनता टूटता है. And uh, fortunately or unfortunately, I would say you know, for me it's unfortunate. I always want something new to come in, something which they would want to see me or would come to me, which I would love to grind into it. Hmm. But ज़्यादा करके बिकॉज ऑफ द कमर्शल एलिमेंट यू गेट थिंग्स विच आर मोर ऑफ यू नो मारो तोड़ो और ये करो वो करो एंड सो दैट्स वॉट इट इज बट आई फॉर्चुनेट नाम आई एम गेटिंग सम मोर सब्जेक्ट्स विच इज इंटरेस्टिंग एंड फॉर यू बट लाइक सर सर इट्स वेरी इट्स वेरी टिपिकल ऑफ यू नो फॉर अस टू काइंड ऑफ वेन मेकर्स और प्रोड्यूसर्स दे सी यू एंड सर्टन जॉन रो यू एंड सर्टन टाइप ऑफ कैरेक्टर वर्किंग देन more and more films are conceived with that in mind yeah. or every time there's a subject like they immediately come to you so it, it is it, it's like it's not so easy to break out of it because sometimes even though it's the same genre and similar mm-hmm. character there's a great film in there yeah and then you can't say no to that mm-hmm. so you do tend to kind of uh, being in a certain zone 
uh, and it's tough to break out of you can't just break into a different genre just because that's your goal mm -hmm. and do a bad film yeah so it's tricky uh, you have to strike a fine you have, yeah you have to find you have to find great cinema Uh, you know, great makers and want to break your image, <laughs> yeah. and yeah, so which is why I think when Chup came, you know, we were all happy to on board. On board. Yeah. <laughs> and so, sir, which film, according to you, has been that one which you know wherein you stepped out of your comfort zone as an actor, or which you know when pura beed chal tha and in that that film came like a breeze of fresh air. I think I started off my career like that, and Bit. I've always been yeah. on that way. I never, uh, I mean, when we came in, I came into the industry that time. My dad was there, Mitji was there, Shatrujji. All all these actors were there who were, and the cinema was of a different genre. And I come with Arjun, I come with Betab, Dekhet, and all this yeah. um, Yatim, and all that cinema was very different. It was youth, and it was completely different. Yeah. And I just I was enjoying doing it, and I was fortunate enough because the directors and the uh, the writers yeah. were looking at something on that side, and uh, they found me, and I found them, and we yeah. kind of <laughs> moved ahead with yeah. it. Uh, um so that's why it's always a it's badi mushkil se koi kahani achhi milti hai subject milta hai jiske andar where you can really you know you just go into it and you're scared but you want to do it because you want to unfold yourself and yeah. find out am i there or am i not there <laughs> you know yeah. <laughs> and that's the beauty of uh, that's that's how i see cinema i don't see it any other way and so you know this film the core, the core concept of the film is around film critics how do you view the critic re reviews I think they're doing their job, whatever they have to do. Like they're doing our acting, they have got the rights to say good, bad about us. And uh, I think, like I said earlier on, also you know, initially when you come into this field, you get very touchy and emotional about it. You <laughs> want to get angry and you want to do something about it. And then slowly you start understanding. Okay, don't take it so seriously. Just move with yourself. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I, 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 I think I'm, I'm just in, in that stage in my career where I'm feeling a little more secure as an actor. Like yeah. I feel like I could. be here a little longer like when you first start out you don't know what to do. what's going to happen yeah. and whether you'll be a failure or like uh, you know whether you'll stop getting offers in film mm -hmm. so when they criticize you that early in your career it's very scary <laughs> so i've had those <laughs> uh, very angry thoughts. moments also in thoughts uh, in my head uh, but now like i think i've slowly made my peace with it that like you said they're doing their job we do ours uh, but i do try to like but i tend to kind of focus on the negatives uh, it affects me like it yeah. upsets me but i think it also helps me sort of become better like you know i, I want to then prove them wrong mm -hmm. or i want to uh, do things they say i can't do yeah. uh, so i think there's something that i find healthy in it also yeah. basically healthy criticism is it is good i mean I, if you're always being praised i, I don't know yeah. how much i think you yourself are your own critic you are so frankly yeah. i mean i know where i've done bad and i know what i'm not doing right <laughs> you know it you know You don't need anybody to tell you. You just want them to uh, shut their eye and not see it and uh, overlook it and go ahead. <laughs> yeah. But when they say certain things which is not there and I mean, on the other track, then you understand that okay, there's no point putting yeah. your brain into it. Yeah. Just move ahead. So, 